What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Modern Masters Draft here on M19 The Gathering slash Mike B. And I'm gonna... What's that 3-3 do? The rare. There you go. I'll leave it up so you can X read it. X when you do return target creature with the X Um, that's not terrible. Well, you're not terrible. But the Flying Haste Dragon might be better, right? It might be. Turn creature card with mana cost X. I think this is actually this. This card's great, right? It seems pretty good if it doesn't die. Oh, Mono Brown and, and M19. <clears throat> yeah, let's do that. That lady's got a vulture hat. That's true. She does have a vulture hat on. Yeah, I'm take vulture hat. Huh. Well, this pack's not great. Could just be the invocation. And it's a, you get a free fight out of it. Could be green black idiots. You know your standard green black idiots build. Green black dummies. I don't care about spires just yet because we have no reason to. Uh, you know. Who wants a colorless land? What's even the point? You think spires is colorless? It's not. Oh, it's that card. That card's terrible. Unbelievable. It like takes you, you basically time walk yourself to play a color colored land. Life gain, black white life gain, you goon, neonates and pride mates. I'll take the pride mate. I could see that. Oh, aerial engineer. Elvish cat caller. How you doing, man? You you making a stew over here? Yeah, man, I'm making a little stew. Yeah. I'm just making the whipped cream. Incorporate into the drink. That's the sound, that sounds terrible. Why? Well, because that's not how it's meant to be eaten. It's the way I always eat it, though. I'll well, drink it. I don't really eat it. That'd be weird. Well, what drink is it? It's a frappuccino. But it's already creamy. Well, now it's more creamy. I have no desire to pick a Dwarven Priest <clears throat> third pick. I'd rather take the Aerial Engineer and maybe not play this. I think this is a stronger card to try. Like Every time we draft this, we never get the appropriate cards for... Oh, boy. That is a late volcanic dragon. Could have had two. You're right. We could have had two. Could have been. I'm still taking it. It's just way too strong. Rogue's gloves or dwindle? Hmm. I've been a big fan of rogue's gloves. It's been pretty impressive for me. In a format where card advantage is at a premium. Our deals coming damage draw a card. Yeah, that seems pretty decent. Two to equip, two to play. That's not bad. Alright, we did it. <clears throat> some, some guys. Some guys have some mum I'll do. But if you're feeling small. Um, I think Rogue Gloves probably goes better in whatever we are playing here. It also works with Aerial Engineer. I'm pretty sure it's just gloves here. I don't necessarily care about the blue card. Oh, wow. That is a late Psychic Symbiont. This is a sixth pick? Oh, my God. It's got a creepy, creepy hand art. It's got a creepy hand art. It has one creepy hand art. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to take this. Yeah, we're all over the place. You're all over the place. I mean, if we take this out, we're Esper. If we take this out, we're Grixis. I guess we got to take this one out, too. Either way. Like, uncommon, 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 rare. <laughs> this is five uncommons and a rare. And you even got an artifact to support your flyer. Mm. It's creepy hats and creepy hands and vulture hats all the way down. Hunter, why do you do this? Because he wants that attention, boy. I don't want you to lick my hand. Lick his hand. Lick his hand. <laughs> Hey, look, it's Diamond Mare. I actually don't hate this here because we can stay open. And it's also good for Aerial Engineer. <clears throat> and it's good for Johnny's Pride Mate because it gains you life. Actually, this is probably the pick. Yeah. 
And we can keep our uncommon uh, selection going. Yeah, what else are you going to take? A stupid fire and a metal? No. This guy's good. we got to pick colors, man. I did. I picked red and black. Obviously. Did you, though? Neonate and Pride Mate. Actually, I mean, I could definitely see splashing for these two blue cards and just be white, black, life gain. Yeah, I guess it's just Neonate here. I don't like passing this guy, though. God, Neonate over the other guy seems... No, oh, Dwarven Priest is This is a league, fine. right? This is a league, yes. Well, then it doesn't matter if you pass good cards. I No, I'm not saying because of giving it to someone. I'm saying it just feels like such a significantly worse card than the other one, you, oh, okay. you big dodo. <clears throat> Gamma set, what's going on? Oh, what is it going on? Take this Dwarven Priest, I guess. Oh, Rupture Spire. Now we actually want the Rupture Spire. All right, I'll take another Dwarven Priest, I suppose. Hired... Uh, McCall Bolt is actually pretty good. We can get back our Pride Maid or the Symbiont. I thought this was another Rupture Spire, and I got excited. Turns out it's just Doodoo. That's Doodoo, baby. Hey, man, but you have no max my hand size. <clears throat> Skeleton what? Archer. That is a that is a late <clears throat> skeletal archer. <clears throat> What's I gonna do? This card's insane. That's a fourteenth pick skeleton archer. Like that's just three, three, four. That it ping something. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. It's real good. It kills all the X ones. It lets you trade up. That is unbelievable. X combat difficult for your opponent to play correctly. Bikes come by the bike, bikes come by the bike, so I can play, click, 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 click. Yeah, that's what I said. You heard. You heard? Oh, Mentor of the Meek seems great here. Especially with double Neonate and Diamond Mare and Pride Mate. Oh, yeah, let's take that. And then we can try to get, uh, we can try to wield this Sky Scanner. We can't do that. Hey, bro, you want to see my Diamond Mare? Yeah, I already saw it. Did you? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this Luminous Bonds. <laughs> Pronunciation for dummies. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around, as they say. Hmm. 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 <laughs> okay, the other way we're doing. It. Um, what do you think, man? What's the pick here? Hmm. I do like Guardian. I think Guardian's pretty good. The problem with Guardian here is uh, that we are not going to have many blue creatures. We have literally two in the deck, so... Yeah, so it's mostly just going to be a 3-5. I almost Which like... fine, I guess? I almost like this guy. Actually, Revitalize, I don't hate, but... Eh. 3-7's pretty beefy. 3-7's actually pretty sizable in this format. I'm going to take a block. Place. Oh, I like a Psy, but I also don't like the few number of artifacts we have. Actually, Dwindle's pretty good here. Hey, you're an adult kid who happens to be... Man, Mike's great at magic? Unbelievable. I don't know what the pick here is. It's either Dwindle or Psy, I think. I would say I'm mediocre at magic. I like Psy because it does trigger Mentor of the Meek, and it also... Uh... What, else, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I think Psy is better than Dwindle here. Oh, Death Baron. Interesting. Do we have any skeletons and or zombies? Zyombies? Mm -hmm. Skeletal Archer. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. 
I'm probably just going to take either one of these two. I'm probably just going to take Epicure of Blood. It's just a big dude that... Yeah, that seems better. ...has synergy with our life gain. <clears throat> yeah, look, another Creepy Hands. They used to call you Creepy Hands. <clears throat> they still do. Wow, they still call you that? Yeah. Kids are so cruel, man. It's okay, I deserve it. I do have creepy hands. He does have creepy hands. Actually, I think it was on the right. Oh, wow, another psychic symbiont? God, yeah, he was right. There was another creepy hands in that pack. I was lying, boy. I didn't know. Uh, don't care about novice knight. Could be explosive apparatus. It's good with... Um, Aerial Engineer, if we play that? I'm not sure if we are, though. We're not, we're not taking a lift when we have two artifacts. That sounds terrible. Oh, man. Thoughts on Lich? Thoughts on Lich is that he's utterly terrible. And if they get rid of one of your artifacts, you lose your 5-5. Five five. It's pretty bad. It's also pretty unreasonably hard to cast. Yeah, three black is not super easily. Uh, I'm going to take up Normal Endurance. I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, Sky March Blood Letter is great, especially after Johnny's Pride Mate. I know that card because it was in another recent set. <laughs> you might, might, might be the one, with the one with the pirates in it. Perhaps. Oh, Ravenous Harpy? That seems okay. Dwindle as well, but like... I'm trying to splash blue minimally here. I think it's probably worth splashing. Probably over Psy even. I'll just take the Dwindle. I like a Doom Dissenter, especially because it triggers Mentor. Mentor! Yeah, it's better than Stitcher Supplier, and it's better than Dwarven Priest number three. Yeah, I'll just take Revitalize. I actually played Revitalize in the uh, Gutter Snipe deck, and I was like, this is pretty good. It draws you a card. Do you know that? Do you know drew you a I card? had no idea. I know. And now you got wrecked because of it. You, you damn nerd. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's not okay at all so much really proofread those oh grave digger oh and a meteor golem oh boy grave digger let me dig your grave. Can you make it shallow? Or is it Meteor Golem? Oh boy, this is actually tough. Meteor Golem's the one that just destroys anything, right? Yeah. Any non-land. It is seven, but it's this is you get it. This is a close pick. Yeah, I actually think it's Meteor Golem. It just kills anything. It kills six sixes, it kills planeswalkers, it kills enchantments. It's really Everyone strong. Everyone seems to agree. I don't think Angel is on the same level as these two. I think it's good, though. Yeah, I'm going to take the Meteor Dawn. Ooh, another Rupture Spire. But a Millstone, huh? Oh, another Rupture Spire. That's what I think of your your Millstone comment. Why not, man? You don't like milling people? Why not, bad? Why not? What are you taking here, man? Rupture Spire makes our life easier. It yeah. seems like the, the necessity. The necessity. What? Whoa. Jeez. This is a situation where I would easily take a Manolith and play it because of all these. Also, Meteor Golem does make our Psy better. True. Where did Psy go? Psy, yi, yi. <laughs> That's a Psy duck. Psy, yi, yi. Uh, I would take Golem number two over Bloodletter or Sky Scanner. Yeah, we're just taking Meteor Golem number two. This card's busted. Oh, there's a Manolith for you. Too much splash equals not playing cards. I have no idea what that means. 
I mean, we have double, we have Manolith and double Rupture Spire. I think we're actually totally fine on mana. We're about that. If now. we take the Manolith, that is. Um, I'm not a big fan of Neonates, even though we do have a Johnny's Pride Mate. I think they're still pretty meh. I would also take the Knight of the Tusk out, so I think we're good on cards here. I'm going to take this. I think it's just Skeletal Archer number Dose. Our deck is, this deck is looking amazing. Yeah, I don't love Dwindle as a splash. I mean, with Manolith and Double Meteor Golem side, just be, just got a lot better though. Oh, let's just caress. That's actually very much what we need. Yeah, that's pretty good. Also, Aviation Pioneer is pretty good too, but I don't think it's actually on the same level. We don't we really cut blue. Can we cut blue with yeah. Double Psychic Symbiont? No, that we have no incentive to do that with Double Rupture Spire and Manolith. Uh, I do like a Doom Dissenter number two. All these, they all trigger Mentor of the Meek, which is really what I what I want. What about Field Creeper because it's an artifact? I think this is better. Why do I care? The, this is the only card that cares about artifacts. Okay. Oh yeah, you took the the what the blue white guy out. The blue white guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, this guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Spectre is terrible. Someone actually asked in the um, in the YouTube chat. They're like, no, no consideration for Spectre, and I was just like, no. I think the card is actually terrible. Um, it's a one three for four, which doesn't even compete with any of the flyers in the set, and you discard one card basically. Splash for Mons. What is Mons? I think he meant Bonds, yeah. Bonds? No, I mean, there's no reason to not play these other cards. Like, our fixing is totally fine right now. That is a... Wow, look at... These cards are so late, dude. I'm gonna take second Sky March Blood Letter. Like, we're basically blue-white. We're splashing for three... White cards. Three blue cards. Which is totally reasonable with, with a Manolith and Double Rupture Spire. Sub regular Mike. <laughs> what it is. Hey, can you tell us your British government plan? You already know my British government plan. I just Oh my god! Grave Are you digger. serious Ooh. right now? Man. Doesn't it look like he's holding a cup of coffee in that? How is this real, dude? Is literally no one else at this table black? But it appears so. I'm just going to take this guy. Actually, whatever. I'll take something stupid. I'll take a cancel in case we're base blue. Okay. I don't understand what's happening right now. <clears throat> also, Forsaken Sanctuary is fantastic for us. This is not real. This is not a real draft. I don't care about either of these cards. I'll just take the... Yeah, I'll take the flashy guy. Wow, uh, that's a late Doom Dissenter as well. Oh my god. Let's see if this is correct. This deck is unbelievable. This doesn't feel right. But I think it is right. Yeah, that feels alright. I guess I should set it before I... Before you forget it? <laughs> Setty yeah. before you forgetty. Like, like Doretti Spaghetti. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Death Baron would actually be decent now. You'd be decent. <clears throat> I'm always decent. Except you're, for when I'm not. You're never decent. Alright, so we need about three cuts here. I don't think Psy makes the cut anymore. He's pretty narrow. Sarah C, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Uh, we can probably cut one of these Dwarven Preeps. And... Um, 
think I could just play 27, 20, 41. This deck is bonkers, dude. Forsaken Sanctuary, Rupture Spire, Rupture Spire. Uh, don't need Waltz with Gravedigger. Yeah, but we have so many high-end threats that, like... I don't... Like, it's just good. It's just fine. Like, I don't even mind it. This deck looks busted. 9, 2, 2... We'll probably go 8, 3... Actually, 7, 3, 3... This is three, four, five, six sources of blue, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sources of black, and three, four, five, six, seven. So six, seven, eleven. Like we still want to hit white early for Mentor of the Meek and a Johnny's Pride Mate, so. I might just cut one of these and add one of these. Two, three, four. This is five sources of blue for three blue for two blue cards. Yeah, that's more than reasonable. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 8, 11, 5. Oh, and we actually get one more. Good lord. Yeah, like, just being able to cast Macabre Waltz in the late game to get back a Symbiont or a Golem is... Or, or both, I mean, rather, is really good. Um, yeah, I guess we're just gonna add another Swamp. But you wanna play 41? Oh, oh yeah, I want 16 lands. All right, this deck looks busted. All right, so what time is it? It is 4.43 here. Again, I don't know why this is so... Oh. Ha ha ha. Sigh for Dwarven Priest? Well, why would we play Sigh, though? Ha ha ha. Ship it. Oh, well. All right. Oh. This is how we lose. All right. Cool. Uh, Yeah, we'll keep you on top. Where are my spirits? I just played... I, I, we already played... Sorry, I've been live for like three hours now. You need to get it together, miss. I've also been alive for three hours now. Yeah, that's probably... I mean, in total, maybe, but... I'm trying to figure out how to... set the time on this bad boy. Didn't come with the manual? I mean, it did, but it's, it's a sizable Orient manual. <laughs> Oh, a little Highland game. Okay. We might just skip. Actually, we're probably just going to play this guy next turn. And we can play this on turn three. Depending on what we get. Yep, that's... Is a talent trooper in M19? No, unfortunately, there are no troopers in M19. Not even the Iron Maiden versions. <laughs> You said I said I'd wait for you. Did I? When did I say that? You take my life and I'll take yours too. Oh, I like it. I, we got a little duet here. All right. You used to be real set, into Iron Maiden, like real into them. Set Mako date. All right, we're looking things up. We're looking to watch things up while we're playing. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. You may go me crazy. I'll figure it out later. I don't want to mess anything up. Automatic watches are, are crazy. Oh, that was a good draw. Ah, 
Now we can block all your things. All your things are belong to us. Did a draft in one of your jobs? Did one of your jobs? Oh, <laughs> no land game one, all land game two, followed by round two, playing the guy that had a constructed deck and limited. Always a pleasure. You probably just got to pull the crown out one click and stuff. I did that. No, actually, pulling it one put it, pulling it one click actually winds it manually. I, I definitely... Uh, I, it could actually maybe backwards, though. Let's see if that works. Oh. Uh-oh. B. Aggressive. Now that's a lot of damage. Um, yeah, well, none of these are preferable blocks. Yeah, we're just going to trade here. Oh, uh, it's an auto, but I can mind I can wind it manually, yeah. Okay. Actually, if we can hit land land, we just go 5 6 7. It's pretty good. Why didn't I block with Doom Dissenter? Because I'd rather block a 1-1 one, one or a 2-1 with it. Because then we don't lose our 2-2. Two, two. If we just block the Highland game, which is a 3-2 with our Doom Dissenter, we don't actually get to... Uh... We don't actually have many instants or Sorcerers in our deck. I think the only card we have is Macabre Waltz. And Lich's Caress, I guess. Interesting. I wonder if that's going to be good. No, oh, well, speak of the devil. So I think the only thing they can hit is Lich's Caress, right? We have Illuminous Bonds. Yeah, we don't have any combat tricks. We don't have any strangling soots. I'm just going to pass here. I don't feel like we're... They get to Lich's Caress our guy, but then we get to... Macabre waltz it back along with the Sky March Bloodletter. Yep, it's got to be Lich's Curse. Oh, Abominable Endurance. Actually, that's great. All right, that's fine. That's even better. Well, they don't always hit Lich's Caress. They hit it once, and then it never again. Yep, now they're going to get the Lich's Caress. Seems good. <laughs> Why did you play that card? Like, their attacks just aren't great. Like, we block here, and then we have a 2-2 for these guys for any future... Oh, I see. Alright, well, whatever. Yeah, we'll just block one of these guys, and then we'll have a 2-2 for this guy next turn, which is just fine. Hmm. So I'm thinking we just play Diamond Mare, and then Macabre Waltz back two creatures, discard like one of them, I guess. Or we can just Macabre Waltz, discard Diamond Mare, and then play one of the creatures. But that's probably better. I don't, I don't think we're playing Creepy Hands. Oh, wait. We do have blue. Never mind. Yeah, we got Rupture Spire. Don't call them Creepy Hands. That's... that's Rupture Spire used to be gold, so it keeps throwing me off. That's Horrorist. You play Commander, too. You should be familiar with this land, right? I am familiar, but normally it's a, that land has a gold border. Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah. The old one had... So it, I, can't, I can't see it as I normally would. Okay. Yeah, the Conflux one looks more gold. Yeah, I think I actually have a Rupture Spire in my commander yeah. deck. So. Even in real life, actually, it looks more gold. This is the M19 one. Oh, huh. That is a significantly different color. So they just changed the color. Interesting. That's weird. All right, we have a 2-2. We can block this guy. They have two cards. They have literal no hits with Chaos Wand. I think we just play Diamond Mare here. We have double. We have blocks for both of these guys, which is totally fine. I don't think we have to play Macabre Waltz this turn. If we hit a land, then we get the option of either playing Macabre Waltz and discarding the land, or just playing Psychic Symbiont. I 
I mean, the best part is that their Chaos Wand just has no targets anymore. So it was basically a one for one. Actually, it was a one for none because we didn't lose. No, it was one for one. We lost the Liches. We lost the uh, Epicure of Blood. At least I don't think we have any more. Yeah, nothing else. So they get to see our whole deck, but I mean, they get no more hits off of it. So our deck literally has three uh, instants or sorceries in it. And I'll probably just take them out now. I just don't even care. Yeah, sure, I'll take two. They have one card in hand, so if we draw a land, we just make them discard their last card. And we gain a life. You gain a life, Ben, I'll gain yours too. Seven mana guy, that's real bad. I'm going to discard that, dude. I'm going to get back Blood Litter, Blood Litter and the Zomboid. That's the name of my buddy cop show. He was a zomboloid. He was a zomboloid. Zomboloid? Yeah. That's actually that's a good that's a good Devo meme there. Uh discard meteor golem. We can also get it back with Grave Crawler. Grave Crawler. Digger. Grave Digger. I'll get it right. I feel like our hand is just full on value. Soon we get more mana. You get a life. Every but everyone everyone doesn't get a life. Only I get a life. Yeah, you play that land. Yeah, no attacks. Give me a land. We are so due for a land right now. I'm gonna get in there with big floats. I could play this guy first and then play this guy. Gains us more life. I think that's fine. This gains us one, and then this gains us five. So we go back up to 16. Boy, this life gain deck is really just killing it. Little do they know our hand is stacked and we're just... Why would you do that? I guess you can compare the two and see what I drew each turn. Oh god, that's... That's, that's miserable. <laughs> yes! Like, why are you going to look at... I'm going to look at 25 cards and I'm going to look at 24 cards and I'm going to find it's the one... It's like a meme of them with the <laughs> equations flying by their head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a good draw. Put it on floaty boy. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that meme with my opponent in there. I will draw a card. God, Rogue's Close. Oh, that was a good one too, because we can just play it this turn. Oh yeah. Now we're in business. I'm a fan of lands that we can play on our turn. That's mine. Me too. Whenever someone's like, what land do you want to draw? And I'm going to be like, the one I can play on my turn. The one that has a beautiful mind. <laughs> <laughs> they have three cards in hand? Good lord. What are they? Three lands? Sure. I guess they're the life gain deck too. It shuffles your deck every turn since it puts it on the bottom and ran. Yeah, of course, but what does that do? Like, anybody care about that? You can do magic. Do, do, do. I'm going to win. Ten turns from now, this game's over. What if there was a land with flash? <laughs> Good lord. That breaks the rules of magic is the problem. You can only play land on your turn. Yeah. I guess technically they could make flash lands. Like, they could. I don't know why good they'd be. But, but, it's, but in, in the game rules, you're only allowed to play lands on your turn. Oh, is that an actual rule? Yeah. Okay. You get to play one land on your turn. You get to draw another card and they get to discard a card. I thought lands were just like sorceries. You just, that's just the speed you can play them at. <laughs> now, no, look, I found all the lands in our deck. Now I wish we had this Macabre Balls and we didn't discard a second Meteor Golem. I knew that would bite me.
You can do magic. Do, do, do. Oh, we just got axed, bro. Okay. They asked us a question. Well, hope they don't have two more of those. Actually, we have Dwarven Priest. We gain one, two, three, four, five, six life. So that just negates your entire axe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Well, sure. Let's attack you for five. We'll gain one from this. We'll gain an extra one from this. So we actually gain like eight life, I think. It's a good amount. Just casually go back up to 15 this turn. Draw an extra card. I feel like we're ahead. Are we ahead here? I don't need to show them that. They've already seen your whole deck. Touche. <laughs> a fair point, Michael. A fair point. <laughs> Multiple times. All right, we'll kill this dude. Oh, we can also, like, pay seven and get this golem back, right? Is it... Oh, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Salad. <laughs> it did sound like salad, didn't it? That's pretty salad. So can we use the first Meteor Golem to kill this one, and the second we can use Isoreth to get rid of the second? I don't know what that meant. I meant, I meant my point was to get rid of this so that we can attack with her and not have it die. That's what I was trying to say, but I didn't know how to, what the, how to make the words. Didn't know how to make the words. Our deck is really good, guys. I don't know if you knew this. I'm just tagged with everybody. Well, maybe. We also should have played Meteor Golem and killed this guy and then attacked him. Yeah, yeah, that would have been better. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. I'll never throw my horse away. Yeah, I was definitely gonna. I was gonna let them use their their draconic disciple before I meteor golemed it. But honestly, I don't care, and I'd rather not. They're just gonna be able to eat like a psychic symbiont if we do that, because they're just gonna do it in, in response to blocks. You can do magic. Why is the song stuck in my head? Sure, that's a good block. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, take ten. Man. Yeah, now we're just gonna kill the What is this? Why are you doing this again? <laughs> Still nothing. I don't know what <laughs> What's the point of that? I don't get it. The definition of insanity is doing something and expect doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Oh wow. Did you know that's actually not the definition of insanity? Yeah, it's probably not. It's not. But to this day people still post that shit. I don't, that doesn't surprise me. How about another one of these guys? This guy legendary? Nope, we're just, that's just a game. All right. Like, I can't see the card behind you. Please become transparent. Yeah, sure. Give me a second. That didn't work. Sorry. Here, I'll help. I tried. Oh, there you go. Everybody's gone. Frank, we need to put down your horse. He's too old. I'll never throw my horse. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that cringe, though? I don't know. What should we bring in, man? Do we need anything? No. No, exactly. we don't. I kind of want to get rid of the Macabalts and the Lich's Caress just because... I need more Starbucks. Wow. I'm going to get rid of all of our spells, actually. And I'm just going to bring in more dudes. And I'm going to totally blank their stupid thing. This is only a good strategy if he doesn't draw his thing. It's actually fine thing. even if they don't. Like... Because we still have, like, Luminous Bonds. We have Dwindle for removal. Like, we're not getting rid of removal. We have double Meteor Golem, double Skills oh, Larcher. We are getting one of one removal. We get rid of one removal. Which one? The... Oh, thing. the Lich's Cross? Yeah. Sure. But, like, then if they play their card, it's just a total blank. Starbucks or ice. <laughs> Fair. 
That's true. That's true. A Frappuccino does not naturally have any ice in it. Oh, God. If we could draw land land, I would keep this hand 1,000% of the time. A Frappuccino is literally made out of ice. It's ice and coffee blended. That's all it is. Well. And cream. Well, the sugar, cream is in the sugar. mix. All that stuff the is in the mix. The cream is in the mix. Frappuccino is a mix that they use. And then they just put ice into it and blend it, right? That's yeah. Much, yeah. And then they put whipped cream on top. What's what? Do we keep this hand? No. Is our deck good enough to keep this hand? No. Oh my. Sometimes I just like to do it despite you. <laughs> well, congratulations. We have two three drops. The thing is, I wanted to win, but I want to actively root against you because it was a poor decision. Oh my. <laughs> Because you're like, you shouldn't be rewarded for this behavior. And yet you're instantly rewarded. I'm like, a t- <laughs> we just, we still need one more, man. We're not out of the woods yet. So, <laughs> oh, we're dead. We didn't make it. Hold on. Hold on. We got one more. Let's see what happens. Why do you need a blender when you have Mike B to chew the ice? That's fair. Well, I don't know if that's. Very hygienic at the Starbucks. Yeah, unless he goes to the Starbucks and chews the ice there. I'd like a job here. I can chew all the ice for you. Sir, please leave. No, trust me. It comes out silky smooth. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we don't need our ice silky smooth. No. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, we have a good time. Is it this one or this one? Probably the flyer. Not getting anything back yet. Yeah, but we can block both of their guys profitably with this. I'm going to play this. Who needs a block when you can attack? It's a little whack how flipping your acting towards a draft boy. Wait, I'm a draft boy. How dare you? What are you saying right now? Frank, I can't believe you refused to listen to your boy and not put it in the aerial. Who was saying that? I didn't even see it. What's going on? I, I, I missed that too. Uh, Last game, I played Phantasmal Image in Modern, and uh, I... Re- I copied the reflector mage and bounced the reflector mage mm-hmm. and then the next turn they just played their reflector mage wait how'd they do that yeah we all wanted to know everyone wanted to know how they did that so that's just a random bug on moto yep okay huh um uh, i'm gonna play mentor here because next turn if we draw land we can play this can i use that as an excuse to to play things that my opponent has bounced off that guy and i can just say well it works on moto so it, that's how magic online does it <laughs> It's like you just don't listen. How dare you? Yeah, no one cares about that. I do. Do you? That's my little boy. That's your little boy? Yeah. He's going to grow up big and strong. No, he's not. How dare you? He'll be dead soon. Oh, how nice. Yeah, we're real far behind right now. We only missed one land drop, which is interesting. They just had this. This card is just very strong. Did we miss two? Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, we did. Land? No, here's a seven drop, bro. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. We can't deal with this nonsense. So the only way we lose, I think, is if we don't actually hit our land drops. We might just actually want to play 18. This might be 18 land deck. I think this is an 18 land deck, interestingly enough. So we should be playing. We're going to play 41, but we're going to play 18 lands. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy, Michael? The name is Ron. Is it? Yes, that's my dad's name. Really? Yes. I don't think I ever knew that. You think I've told you that before? I probably just didn't listen. Wow. Would you like to pay one? Yes, I would. Is he rich like me? Has he taken any time to show, to show you what you need to live? This song stuck in my head now. Three drop, 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 three drop. That's a land. (laughs) 
Never have I been so disrespected. <laughs> Justice for Quacker 2000. Unbelievable. Never forget. Are we at a point where we just dwindle one of these guys? No. We're at 20 life. My god. Oh my god, it's Iron Chef Sammy. Oh my god, it is Iron Chef Sammy. Boy, I have never seen an Iron Chef Sammy in my life. I'm gonna put this on you. I'm gonna put this on you. I don't feel like taking four next turn going to 12, especially in the deck against Lava Axe. I think we're dead. We really need to draw some gas here. And I don't know where our gas is. I, can, I know where Mike's gas is. Do you? It's in his mic beehole. Why don't they attack with this guy? That's fascinating to me. So I watched an uh, Injustice 2 tournament last night. Yeah? Sonic's Fox actually didn't win. He only came in third. Who won? Uh, some dude who's not sponsored. His name was like Really? An unsponsored dude won? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He well he's he's not unsponsored anymore, that's for sure. That's probably true. He won with uh Who's he playing? Yeah, that's what was, that was my next question. He was playing mostly Doctor Fate and Interesting. Uh Starfire. Oh, they didn't attack. I like it. One turns out Starfire's really broken. Really? Yeah. Her keep away game is really annoying. I haven't seen much Starfire since the down since we downloaded her. How's it going on Magic.Internet slash UK today? Not too bad, buddy. Not too bad. I want to draw an extra card and hope it's a Psychic Symbiont. One time. Oh, that is a good question. Have you seen the new Commander spoilers? Did you hear what I said? I said I hope it's a Psychic Symbiont. Oh, you drew it. Good and it you. was. Wow. You're like a, a real... A real good prediction, boy. Uh, I mentioned it earlier, but I have seen some of the Commander spoilers. I haven't seen many of them, and I'll probably do... Um, I'll probably make some content, either an article or a, a Frank Thoughts on them. Or maybe both. The new... um, What's the artifact Planeswalker called? What's Just her name? Karn? <laughs> no. The blue-red one. Shahili? Sahili. Yeah, her new, her new form is broken. Her new form? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her new her new planeswalker is really I like good. that you like use the Dragon Ball terminology. This is our new form. <laughs> Alright, so they can make a dragon out of this guy, but we can just bonds it, so that's fine. She has two plus ones. One is uh you make a one one Thopter. And our other one is uh you can cast a spell and it costs uh less equal to the number of artifacts you control. So what we're gonna do is attack with both. They're probably gonna block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we can actually play Gravedigger and Luminous Bonds the Dragon. Which feels pretty good. I kind of want them to block this, though. So that I can get it back with Gravedigger, but this is still fine. Yeah, they can make Dragon Instant Speed, which is probably what they're going to do. Oh, they're not going to do that. I'm intrigued. Well, that's pretty good, I guess. I guess that's all we're going to play here. I guess we could have also Meteor golem to the... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I guess we're just going to play Luminous Archer and shoot one of the tokens. Did I say Luminous Archer? I <laughs> think Skeletal Archer? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm just going to pass, let you make your guy, and then we can Meteor Golem it next turn, or or Luminous Bonds it, either one. So we're going to take five, and then they're going to Lava Axe us. That's pretty scary. I just figured they'd block. 
How come Luminous Bonds is not instant? That's my question. Because that would be too good. Would it be? I mean, that's just basically a better cast out, right? Well, no, because cast out can hit any permanent. This is just an enchanted creature can't attack or block. Oh. It doesn't even stop the abilities. So it's an arrest. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Lava Axe number one. I refer to Sahili as busted just because there's so many cheap artifacts you can play in Commander. So she could easily make a cost spell that costs like 7, cost nothing. Like, very, very easily. I'm actually going to keep Symbiont back in case they have, like, Volcanic Dragon, I guess. I don't think I can do that, though. Yeah, if they have Volcanic Dragon, we're going to 1. If they have just another Lava Axe, we're dead. I mean, what are the odds they have two Lava Axes? It's a 1,000%, because... Why wouldn't they? Because why wouldn't they? And that's just literally how the simulation works. Make sure we play the land this turn. All right. Just untap Lava Axe my face immediately. Yep. Actually, I have no words. I didn't. I didn't even feel bad. Like I just. Actually, I'm utterly amazed. Our deck is significantly stronger than your deck. We only just lose two. I guess. I mean, we could have held back one of the guys, but I really didn't think they were not going to block. So, again, it comes down to a situation where I can see us misplaying in the sense that, like, if we held back Psychic Symbiont, we could have blocked with Psychic Symbiont. We'd be at five. Um, that would have allowed us to actually Gravedigger the Symbiont back, which is pretty strong. And um, get the... Uh, just kill the dragon on our turn. But, uh, yeah. Good times. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just didn't expect you to have double lava X, so. Unfortunately, didn't play around the double lava axe. You boarded in more lava axes against the deck that gains an incredible amount of life? That's very interesting. I don't know how I feel about that, but... I mean, I, I don't know. I It's hard to evaluate what I'm strategically uh, whether that's sound for me because I'm not sure if I'm just no it didn't not work yeah I guess there's that Mm-hmm. You doing okay? Hmm? What? Hmm? You falling asleep? Mm hmm Okay. I'm always falling asleep. I stay falling asleep, I knew you were going to say that. I'm tempted. Actually, we're just going to block here. So next turn, we can get this back, and both of our creatures are lethal against this. Oh, 
Okay, one, two. Yes, okay. It's a pretty good value. I mean, Got him. We don't get our guy back, but... But neither do they. Got him. Our hand is pretty bad. However, we can play anything we draw, including two Meteor Golems and uh, two Psychic Symbionts. And, uh, yeah, we're just not going to block that guy anymore because... If this guy dies, we don't actually get a zombie anymore. It's just a 1-1. One, one. Yep, that's pretty good. Let's just caress. Yeah, blood letters. Actually just fine. Uh, we will not still get a zombie if the, if the creature would leave the battlefield exile instead of putting it anywhere else. And it has to die it to get the zombie. Die. Doesn't hit the bin, so you don't get the Vrin Vrin. No, no bin, no Vrin Vrin, as Mike B would say. Oh, really? This is a good trade. Hmm. Fascinating. I hope you kill this guy, and then we can macabre waltz and get them both back. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no bin, no vrin vrin. I mean, to be fair, that was a Mike B quote. I just repeated it. Oh, no bin, no vrin. Actually, double blocking is pretty bad because then they just shoot one of them with their apparatus. Their craparatus. Oh, that's a good card. I mean, they're at twelve. They kind of they kind of have to kill this Sky March Bloodletter, right? No. Weird. Well, let's see if this guy resolves those. I would like to cancel that. <laughs> sure, you got it. Next turn, I'm going to macabre to that, and the uh, is Isoreth back, so. Isor? The Isor Reth. Uh oh. Meteor Golem? Oh. How nice. Well. Actually, it's probably just better to play the Isoreth here. Isor. Isoreth. You falling asleep, man? Every day. Every day you're falling asleep? Mm hmm. Huh. At least once a day. Wow. Yeah. Did they attack with this guy? They're a nine? Oh, a bold strategy, Cotton. I'm probably just blocking here. If they want to shoot it, that's fine. What if they shoot it and boot it? I mean, I guess that's also fine, you know? Are they going to cleansing Nova here? Nope. They are going to shoot it and boot it. Shoots and boots and shoots and boots and shoots and boots. This card's surprisingly obnoxious. If we don't have Lich's Caress here, I think we... Alright, well... Now we can just top deck a Lich's Caress. And feel good about our, our choices. That's also not bad. They have one card. They had one card. Well, this is probably just going to get countered. It's probably a counter spell. 
but I want to be able to make sure the luminous bond sticks. Oh. Fancy that. Well, I'll be... Oh, you're going to pay cost in response. You're going to disperse that guy. I wasn't even going to attack with that guy, so the life point uh, that I get from that is actually more valuable. Ooh. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. So next time we can go one, two, one, two, three. Ah, oh, we can't do all three of these things. Yeah, I'll take five when you're at eight, sure. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. It's a good talk. Good. Yeah, there's a lot of thought provoking. The conversation. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, boots and the cats. Uh. Oh, oh, that was nice. We could just put them on a two-turn clock and assume they don't draw an answer. But I don't really want them to draw more cards. They ain't got nothing. Otherwise, they go to seven. We play Pride Mate this turn. Next turn, we gain a life. So this is a three-three. This is so four damage, five damage, six damage. Yeah, we can actually just do... We can just attack with this guy this turn. Because if we attack with this next turn, it denies them the turn. Kermit, one boots and or cat's buck. <laughs> oh, good times. Let's play old pride pajamas. And, uh... That, that jobby. All right. Pride pajamas. Boots and cats. This is boots and cats. Hmm. Think about it. Oh, look, a little rustwing falcon. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's your draw. Boots and cats and a boots and cats. Cats and a boots and a boots and cats and boots. Let's draw our other skeletal archer and we'll just shoot this thing twice. Okay. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't anymore. Win or lose, I predict it every time, apparently. One, two, three, four. We're actually a land shy, so that doesn't even work. Dang it. We still drew it. I guess I asked for the wrong card, though. If you asked for the right card, you wouldn't get it. You can only get the cards you don't want. But boots and cats and boots and cats. I don't know. I mean... We attack with this and this and this. They block here. They take four... They go to and they just play this guy and kill them. Yeah, let's just do that. I'll give you one extra card. Boots and cats. Oh, it's any creature with flying attacks. Yeah, that's why I wasn't attacking. What a weird card. Yeah, you play this guy and you attack with your two flyers that are running on board. You draw two. They attack you. They you still draw two. We're stuck in 2018. You know, Frank is out here speaking in 2035 like he's lived all these moments. Or. <laughs> I've seen the future. Why wouldn't you kill this guy that gets bigger rather than the guy that draws you cards? That's my question. But I guess if you don't draw a floater... All right, so now we're just going to put you to one and you're dead on board and you're dead to this archer in hand. So Archer's going to get you. He going to get you. Hey, FNM in chat. FNM? What does that mean? Archer is Frank and Mike. Oh, maybe. No, it's not Friday, so. Friday, Friday. Friday. That's a Rebecca Black song. You know Rebecca Black? I've heard of her. She did that Friday song. Did she? she did, did she do a Saturday song? I'm gonna what about a Sunday song? No, man. I'm going to bring Cancel in. I'm gonna take out. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, we don't need. We have double meteor golem, and we have literally we have we have multiple answers for that stupid sphinx. 
Our deck is gas. I'm just going to play it like this, dude. No, no, Quacker. We have three artifacts, not including our Meteor Golems. That's a 2-4. It's a Dwarven Priest that doesn't even gain us life. That's what it is. You understand? I want to keep this hand again. I need someone to dissuade me from doing it. No. You just keep it. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't do it long enough. You didn't dissuade me long enough. We have two two turns to hit a land. You ready? That wasn't it. We got one turn to hit a land, man. Chicken Sunday is every day, so you can sing any song for it. It's true. You ready? Here we go. Bad times are coming. Never fails. Never fails. Don't be like this. Don't be bitter. <laughs> don't be like this, Michael. Well, I want you to win, but at the same time... I don't want you to keep just... getting rewarded for your bad decisions. It's just reinforcing my behavior. Like, do you keep these in real life? I'll keep whatever I want in real life. No, I would never keep these hands in real life. Magic Online, me and Magic Online are, have, have, a, have a longer relationship, though. And I know what Magic Online is willing to give me. This is pretty... I mean, they open on this guy, this guy, and now they're anticipating on turn four. Not great. Land? I'll take it. You know what? I'll take it. Let's get in there. Look at these aggressive one power gentlemen. Every time I play three colors in this format and do well, the roommate gets so salty because I'm rewarded for all the gr Three colors isn't that bad. There's enough fixing in this format to, to warrant the three colors. Trips colors. Trips colares. Trace colares. I can keep going. I think it's just Manolith here. I don't want to get too greedy. Unless you're a madman. Am I? Clearly. The world may never know. No, they know. I'll block. Actually, no. You you can always see you equip these double Marauders axes before I start blocking. And that's why it really hurts, cause you do it to yourself. You and no. That's a good Radiohead. That's a good Radiohead meme. Oh, we're actually gonna play Blood Letter here. Blood Letter, can you let my blood? What does that even mean? If they want to cancel this blood letter, knock knock it out. Knock it out. I'm gonna attack with my horse because I have no I have no interest in ever blocking with my beautiful mare. Also, my buddy Elena Danner uh, illustrated this horse. You can see right through that horse. Her stuff's great, and you should check check it out on the internet. Um, just around the internet. <laughs> Look at this. I gain a life. This guy comes back. I gain another another life from that. Man, so much life gain. Look what's happening. They can't even they can't even handle my life gain. Their blood has been wet. What you know about my life gain? We did. We they their blood. What is this? It's a tap land. Black splash. <laughs> it is a tap land. You're right. Uh oh. See now we're blocking. Oh, just one. What's that? Just around the internet from? It's just around the river bend from Pocahontas. Yeah, but what's it? Did you just did you make it up? No, it's a song. Yeah, but from where? From Pocahontas. I just said no. That. But where is the just around the internet version from? From my brain. So you made it up? Yeah. That's good. I like that. That's clever. As far as I know, that's an original. Wow. You guys are experiencing Mike B. Original. <laughs> you guys are watching magic happen. Magic the Gathering and real life magic. I wouldn't call it magic. It's just simple. Uh-oh, it's magic. You know. <sighs> oh, it's really painful. <laughs> I don't know what to cast here. I like Dwarven Priest just because if we draw another land, we can play both of these guys next turn. 
You know. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I need liquid. Well, what are you... In my body. Go get a liquid, then. I just might... I just might get a liquid. Are you going to counter my Dwarven Priest? Is that, that... That's the one that's too scary for you? You got it. He's like, no, no, I can't. I think he was inspired when he said we could find a lane of stuff on the internet. Oh, I know he was inspired, but, like, being able to put that Pocahontas song and, uh, you know, finding the perfect place for the word internet in it is just... I don't know. That's impressive. Let me whip out my knife. I did, I did whip out my knife. I just might. I just might get a liquid. <laughs> this chat is incredible. I'm so. I'm so. I'm so fortunate to have met all of you on the internet. Just around the internet. Look at this idiot. No, I'm a little idiot. That's what he says. He's actually pretty big. Pretty big idiot. You're a pretty big idiot. Got him! I'm gone. Where are you going, man? I'm leaving forever. You going around the internet? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> Mike left. Yes, Iron Chef Sammy, even especially you. You're one of my favorite children. Jester Pooh, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy enjoy your workitude. Just around the river bend. Now it's gonna be in my head forever, just so you guys know. You know, equip this axe to your thopter so you can properly block here. I'll never let that happen. Oh, we can get to Dwarven Priest back with the Isareth. Dang, that's a good deal, boys. I'm pretty sure we're just going to Meteor Golem and kill this if we draw land. Grave Digger. Can you dig my... Can you dig my grave? Can you make it shallow? So that I can feel the rain. One, two, three, four. Yes. This guy. Gain a million life. Mike's getting a big glass of ice, I bet. Yeah, there's water in there. There's water in my ice cup. He's got water in his ice cup. So next time we can go Gravedigger, Isareth, get back Isareth. And then in the future we can get start getting these guys back. We're also at 31 life here, which is nice. It's a comforting life total to be at. Our whole hand is gas. Just around Mike's river bend. Oh, it's a little snooper. A snooping Drake. Hey, Mike without hat. <laughs> This yeah, is well. Mike without hat. And before mind rot? Yeah, that's fine. Mind rot me. I dare you. If they brought in if they brought in black cards just to mind rot me. Sure. <clears throat> Let me draw a land so I can meteor golem this snapper and put them to, to four. I wish Lich Lich's caress said you can gain three life or deal three damage. God, that'd be so good, right? The answer is yes, it would be very good. Just around the river bend. Mind rot, they probably have double mind rot. Yeah, you're right. Land. More like Meteor got him. I have not cared about your sea serpent, so. That's cool. Kids, more Snappy D, please. Kids, kids love Snappy D. Oh, boy. Is this round two or round three? I feel like it's round three because we feel like I feel like we should have won every match. And except for the fact that we got double lava, lava, lava axed out of, out of our lives. Wow, this is how you're going to play? Okay. 
dirty. Is it when you cast? Oh, dang it. So I'm not going to get the perk. I still think you just die to this guy over a, a long enough timeline. So next turn, we, we cast this. Gain a, gain a life, you lose a life. Um, we get back Isareth. Gain a life, lose a life. We attack with Isareth. Get back... Actually... Casting this, casting this, and her trigger would be three. All right, so we'd be one away. I guess we just need to find one black creature, and then you're just dead to the epic cure of blood. What's an epic cure? It's an epic cure. <laughs> wow. The internet, really. Let's just look it up. Let's find out. A person who takes particular pleasure in fine food and drink. Hmm. Oh, then I'm an epic cure. No, you eat trash. You eat literal garbage. <laughs> Every night, you're like, got some more Taco Bell tonight. Hey, man. What else is open? Uh, Perkins. Um, Perkins ain't that cheap, man. IHOP. Steak and Shake. Those are all like the same place. One Snappy D reinforcement book. You think Taco Bell and Steak and Shake are the same place? No, I meant the, the, the IHOP and the Perkins and the Steak and Shake. Um, the sub place on Gulf to Bay is open till like 4 a.m. What place? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Florida Subs and Euros. It is open until 2 a.m. Huh. Well, now it's I know literally it. like two minutes away. Who would have guessed? Just around the river bend. I did have Wawa last night. Wawa is pretty decent, but it's a little pricey. Trigger you, trigger you, get a thing back and do 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 do. Get back this Isareth. You're at three now. One, two, three, four, four, five blockers. We have one, two, three, four, five attackers. Yep, that ain't gonna do it. Wawa is a gas station that happens to have pretty decent food. That is correct. That is correct. Wawa is literally why I survived college. I don't know if that makes any sense. Doesn't it though? Is it because of the coffee? You're because of the coffee. <laughs> are we are my lands not tapping oh are they like they, it's their their priority during my draw step what is this what are they doing during my draw step your mom they're doing my mom during my draw step yeah it's pretty messed up oh that's interesting i mean my deck is mono gas so yep Pegasus Corsair. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six threats. And they have five blockers. So this guy, they go four, six on four, four. Three, two on three, three. Four, four on four, four. Three, three on two, two. Three, two on. Yeah, that's not great. I don't know why they'd cast Chromium during my upkeep. That doesn't make any sense at all. Also, I don't know if this occurred to you, and I know it did, and you're going to give me some sarcastic response, but you could always just cook food and have real food that you've made at the house. That is possible. I mean, it saves you from eating Taco Bell and spending money every single day. Oh, this is just a desperation. This is some desperate swings here. Oh, all right. <laughs> the old, I'll swing out and give you the match. Sounds good. Our deck is pretty busted. Uh, so long as we don't lose to Lava Axes. 
Chat Mike, if you have Wawa, let me know where you're at and how far the double wah has spread. The double wah? Oh my god. What time does Sonic... No, Sonic's not open that late. Sonics are nowhere near here either. That's true. That's a good point. There's like one in St. Pete. Also, you can get these tacos at this. Ooh, that looks pretty decent, actually. Yeah, this place is actually pretty good. Yeah, those look like legit tacos. Oh, wait, go back to that one. Which one, this one? Oh, man, so many tacos. Look at that beauty. Hey, man, we're getting some tacos soon. I know, but we can't get street style. Actually, I'm, I don't know I why. If, I wonder if you can get street style for the first order. <sighs> They charge you more, like on the menu. Oh, they charge you more. For the it, yeah. the the Mexican style tacos are, are more expensive, which is weird because like it's less ingredients. Right, you're literally using you're not using cheese, lettuce, or tomato. You're just putting a little bit of cilantro and a little bit of onion on there. It doesn't That's make it, any yeah. sense. It's so weird to me. I'm like, I don't really even care about cheese or lettuce or tomato. I'll eat them because like the whole package is fine, but I would rather just have the cilantro and the onions, man. Sonic is real fast. If he's not there now, he can get there real quick. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, man. Yeah, they're always trying to feed us these tacos with, like... I'll just keep this hand. The weird thing is, though, is they don't have, like, the traditional style meats that you would see on those kind of tacos. You're a like, traditional ain't style nobody have Ain't nobody have ground beef on a street taco, you know? That's true. But the chicken would probably be decent. You can you can find a beef tongue on a street taco though. I've had that before. It's actually um, it's okay. A little fatty, but well, so they gonna make it. I was gonna be like, I was just saying, you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I might splurge for the street tacos tonight. Oh, I don't know if you can get all you can eat though. Well, no, I think I think the first order you can. And I don't know. The other man. orders are. We'll find if, out. Yeah, I'll find out. I'm down. Uh, if we if you could have done that and we just never did it. What a misplay. Because it can't be that much All more right. Food, right? Like uh, two extra bucks. That's enough lands. Appreciate it. Don't fat shame the beef tongue. <laughs> oh, that's actually the name of my ska band. It's called Don't Fat Tongue, Don't Fat Shame the Beef Tongue. Don't fat tongue the beef tongue. <laughs> oh, Christ. All right. Well, that'll get us there eventually, I guess. Oh, I watched that uh, that modern video you guys did on the Bant thing. It was pretty good. The summoning trap one. Yeah, that deck was fun. That was pretty. That was pretty cool. Also, I I, I also rewatched some of it last night, and I, it made me miss Hat Mike. I was like, man, rip that's a, Hat Mike, rip Hat Mike. I mean, he's still alive, but you know, is he? How do we know? How does one know whether Hat Mike is alive? If you eat it in the middle of the road, any taco can be a street taco. Well, I guess that's true. I, can't, I can't, wish I could argue with that. If you're not going to make this guy unblockable, I'm just going to block him. Because this guy's a lot of damage. If you have Sure Strike, though, I'll probably cry. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. That's still bad. I guess we have Macabre Waltz. Waltz. Macabre Waltz. Why can't they do El Pastor with other meats? Why is El Pastor literally restricted to only pork? I used to get El Pastor, or, uh, no, I got, um, I got El Carbon. What's that? It's where they, it's like, I don't, oh God, how do you explain it? It's on like a, it's like kind of like fajita style. Okay. Uh, to cook over charcoal, bring the dish indoors, but yeah, it's, so it's like sauteed, there's like peppers, onions, and I think we're just losing this game. Sounds pretty good. Maybe our deck is not as good as I thought it was. I think it is. I think it's Vegas still has zero good Mexican food. Really? That's shocking that they wouldn't have any good Mexican food. I mean, the bright side, if they make their psychic symbiont unable to block, then uh... yeah, all right, it's fine. We'll just block this guy and take six here. This guy doesn't have death touch, right? He just gives your yeah. That's great. Are you gonna kill our horse? I'm 
gonna bring in another dwarven priest and another doom dissenter take out the rogues gloves because i think they're a little slow here and take out probably macabre waltz yep mm, keep sounds pretty good if we can hit our lands just like every hand you keep. It's literally every hand we keep. <sighs> bow, 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 bow. Well, that's... I think this is the time. Pay one to prevent this. I'll prevent it from dying forever. Pay one to respect. Land. Alright, that's actually good, because now we can play this guy. Next turn we can play both of these. And we're only missing one life, which is good. Sure. All right, now we're in a commanding position here. Not a fan of those. I think they got got them. Win out of nowhere cards instead of two plentiful sleep. Thud declare dominance. Pretty yeah, they actually are. I feel like you're correct. Even lava axe uh, to a lesser extent. I mean, it's not a great card, but it is a oh you were you thought you were safe at at five, and you are not. Both of these can attack actually because they no, they're not going to kill your egg. Yeah, I can't even tell you how many times I've lost to declare dominance or and and won with sleep. Well, that's obnoxious. Yep. Yarp. I think there's a block here. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna pass. Oh good, a six five death touch. Now it doesn't trade. Well that's cool. It is also a dumb mythic in the sense of, like, I never want to open it, but, oh, of course, it's very, very good and limited, because it's... Josh, all this talk about street tacos has me hungry. Thank you so much for the support, buddy. Really appreciate it. I didn't even see that pop. Oh, cool. I just can't attack here. All right. Well... Yeah, this is going to be one of those situations where our deck actually looks utterly insane and we end up going 1-2, I think. Which is pretty mind-blowing to me, unfortunately. Like, maybe this is a Neonate deck. Neonate is... <laughs> it's weird because Neonate's an underwhelming card in general. It's an 0-3 for 1 mana that you have to pay 2 mana and tap it to drain for 1. But, I mean, maybe in a format like this it's good? I don't know. Oh, uh, I don't want to play land in case of discard because we have Macabre Waltz in hand, so I'd, or in our deck, so I'd rather just... Six. That's actually a friggin' great draw. Alright, well, that was pretty good. Yeah, your odds of actually proccing that guy is pretty low. God, Epic Hero Blood seems like it should be doing more work here, but... <sighs> I mean, Diamond Mayor Epic Hero Blood is basically build your own Neonate, right? <laughs> I might bring in the Neonates just to try them after this, actually, so...
That's what we're looking for, actually. That's pretty sick. Yeah, man. That's definitely going to get us there. Nailed it. Uh, our deck is pretty sick. Apparently, we are currently 1-1, though, and down a game. So, I don't know if it's that sick, I guess. Why does this guy have trample? This thing is just really weird. This is a weird card. 6-3 for 5 with trample is very strong. They have three cards in hand? What are their three cards? I guess we're going to find out one of them. Macabre Waltz, get back Bone Dragon. Ah, oh, how nice. How nice. Ah, like you do. It's okay, we're gonna draw another Meteor Golem. You ready? I'll take that. What are we discarding here? Ooh, a thud? Oh my god, Ooh. it was a Bane Fire! And we get to keep a Meteor Golem? Oh my god. That was the best it could have ever been. Really? I'm just going to take that because I have 5 power in the air. That was an interesting attack. <laughs> sure. Seems good. Great. Having a good time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boy. Hmm. <sighs> Like you do. Well, we're definitely killing the 6-6 six, six with Trample and Flying, so that's cool. If we Alpha here, do we win? You have to block here. You block here. So these two are taken care of, and you're taking two, so you go to three. And you're probably blocking the 3-3 three, three as well, so you take one, two, three. I think we can actually Alpha here. You have to block everything. So you block flyer here, three three on six three, and four four and two two. So then you take one two three four five, and you have to actually. Yeah, I think this is fine. Six three can't go to a one power creature. I don't think. So if you block the one, okay. Well, oh, that's interesting. Because now you're taking five in the air automatically. So that that's not a thing you can do. And you have no cards in hand. D20 Bandit, thank you so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. If he had two Lava Axes, he'd still have the second one left. That is a good point. Have I ever played D&D? &D? I don't think I have played an actual campaign of D&D. &D. I played, like, a small amount of one. A smidge? Yeah, a smidge. Okay, so 2-2 two, two on 1-3. Three, 6-3 three on 4-4. Four, four. And so you take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You die here. This guy has to block 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, alright. Okay. So now you take one, two, three, four, five. You go to two. These guys trade. This guy dies. And you only have Bone Dragon now. Yeah, that was a pretty good turn. I'm going to play this just in case they do have Mind Rot. I'm less concerned with Macabre Bolts now based on our board. And uh, your Bane Fire's in the graveyard. I'm very tempted to bring in uh, Cancel in this matchup. D20 Bandit, thank you so much for the bits. Really appreciate it. I don't know why these noises aren't going off. It didn't let me pump. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't think it matters. I, you probably just missed it. I don't think that's a Magic Online thing where it's just going to randomly skip a phase, but... Either way... I feel like Dwindle and uh, Cancel come in here and we just get a little heavier on the... We have 20 creatures in our deck. Alright, so let's see if we can re retool this just a little bit. We'll take out a Dissenter, bring in a Neonate. Take out... Take out one Dwarven Priest for a Cancel. Uh, I like Luminous Bonds. I like Dwindle. Uh, take out the Endurance, I guess. Bring in the other Neonate for anything? Maybe the other Dwarven Priest, and it just lowers our white count a lot. I'll take out two planes. Actually, I'll take out one Swamp. We'll bring in this, this, and this. So we have four, five, six, seven sources of blue for a cancel. I think this seems good. Yeah, it's double blue, but I mean, like, cancel's pretty relevant against things like the Demon of Catastrophes, Banefire. If, I guess we're never canceling a Banefire, but... I don't know, I kind of like having one Dwar Dwarven Priest still on the deck. I think this is good. Let's try it. Let's give it a go. Give it a go, then. This is a good hand. I will keep this hand. No blue. Banefire for four, you say? Hmm, I got him. You get literally no hits. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, the old mulligan to five, uh, six. It's it's a peak that doesn't let you draw a card. That's pretty good. I'd say it's not good. For us, it's good. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Now, next turn we can actually activate this and play for it. Then we have a thing to do, and then we got a Luminous Bonds. All right, we're doing okay. Death Baron. Graveyard Marshal. Oh, that's good. Hello, Rukai 81's wife. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Banefire for four, you say? Is Banefire uncounterable? Uh, if it's five or more. Okay. If X is five or more. It also can't be prevented if I remember correctly. You do remember correctly. I'm just going to block here because this guy's not doing us any favors. We also have Gravedigger and Macabalts, so... Interesting. That doesn't do anything. I guess you're just going to shoot us? Okay. Ha! <laughs> there we go. That's what we're... That's what we're going for. Seems good. Baron? What does that mean? What does... What is what you say mean? I don't understand. Double blocks here? Do that. Double block. I mean, they have abnormal strength, so they could go abnormal abnormal endurance. I don't know what that card's called. Oh, Death Baron. I couldn't. I couldn't even understand what you were saying. Act of Treason. Thud. Sure. Yeah, no blocks. Oh, wow. These are going to be a, a couple of good turns coming up here, boys. He thudded you, man. I think we just play this and keep this guy up. I don't really want to Luminous Bonds either of these when Symbiont does a lot of heavy lifting. And if they play like Bone Dragon, we just don't have an answer. Oh, 
Hopefully they just have like mono six drops in hand, I guess. Yep, I'm gonna block again. It's fine. Okay, they have no cards. Great. No, well, that's unfortunate. Whatever. Oof! That's a good one. That's a valuable boy. Yeah, I think we're just way ahead right now. I will 100% trade with this guy. Now we just have to stay alive. They can eat that, which is fine. We have an 03. Blocks forever. Alright, another land. Well. The problem with this configuration is that... Um... They can play anything they draw, and any land they can also play, so. Make a Zomboy. Skype is pretty dead. Discord is pretty much the way of the future there. It's also less resource intensive. And it's got more features, and it's, it's the way of the present, I guess you could say. Intriguing. So they have no cards in hand. This is nice. Discord has video. Does Discord not have video? I'm not sure. Our hand has is pretty stacked. Infinite removal spells for obnoxious dragons. I guess they could just sack their dragon egg to uh no didn't do that interesting well I'm still gonna luminous bonds this guy the name is bonds luminous bonds good games but but munch. Uh, okay. Good games, but much. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Check out the Twitch and Patreon links in the description below. And this is But Munch signing out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they also put a space between the T's so that it wouldn't get filtered out. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.